today. From Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, and Denver. Then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. Here's the former Florida Gator, Eddie Pinheiro, to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense. And at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. The Falcons got their feet wet with Ritter during a four-game audition last season, and he did end their year with a pair of wins. Optimism reigns that he is their quarterback of the future. Looking to put it up right away. And complete to Drake London. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Ritter to throw it. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson, and he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime, but the best teams adjust series to series, and on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Right 
Now a man who did his collegiate punting just a couple hours from here in Clemson in South Carolina, Bradley Pinion to kick. Shai Smith deep for Carolina. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time, and Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball, run it inside, everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little Ready? shot early and try and create some space. One of the Panthers' big off-season acquisitions. Here's Miles Sanders. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third down, Young from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the return will stop right around the 25. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. to throw on first and 10 across the formation and he gets this to Miller it'll be a gain of five and it'll be second down the goal for any offense versus his own defense find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it they did it well there perfectly executed crossing route Second and five. Seven. They gonna need some therapy after this. Seven's a mic. Mike seven. Here we go. Mike, go. Mike, go. Here's the eighth overall pick from Texas. It's Bijan Robinson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Panthers will get the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles. He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. shake off the interception he'll look to throw this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two from the 24 now here's second and two young off the play fake the Sanders has got it complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down, Young. This to the former Falcon, Hayden Hurst. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Again, that's Hurst. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A first down throw for Young. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Brady Jarrett just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Another forceful rush there by Jarrett. Not a lot of help for him making these types of plays last season. Managed six sacks, which led Atlanta. But good news, the Falcons, they've overhauled their defense this offseason. He should have a lot more help now. need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. They get six yards back on the run, but still have a third and long situation forthcoming. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. 
Young on third down. Under pressure and down he goes. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. He saw the pressure and he got out, but he never got upfield. And the defense, they took full advantage of a rookie mistake there. They were able to add a big loss on the sack. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And partner, I know so far, I mean, we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy, zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Ritter now. Escaping the pressure. Ritter has it knocked down. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Ritter. That is caught, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Ritter and London team up there, first down Atlanta. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Ritter with it after the play fake. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now a second and ten. Back to throw, Ritter. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do, and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Back. 
Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and nine. Young to throw it. That swung out wide to Sanders. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. First and 10, Young. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Now back to throw. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 30. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. The play fake, now Young. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. I think he thought he had his first read open on that one, but they were obviously ready for that throw. And that's just a lack of experience showing. Young quarterback stared his man down the whole way. And they were more than happy to sit on that route and bring home the INT. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, You've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Ritter got his man complete over the middle that's Robinson the Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Looking to throw it here. Ritter, short throw, caught by Pitts. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here now, second and four. Looking to throw once more. Here's Ritter. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. 
And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little gain. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. Kuhn knocks this one through the post. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Young taking a shot here for Marshall. Young is intercepted for the third time this game. Trey Flowers picks it. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all about the defense, just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights, but that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Bryce Young and the offense out for their next series. And that first half was nothing short of a disaster. Zero points on the scoreboard in a big three in the INT column. So they've got to get him going, obviously, right? So you've got to get him in rhythm. And we always think of short passes. I think of jet sweeps where they just kind of toss the ball forward. You know, that counts as a forward pass. And then you can say to him, look at that. You completed three, four, five in a row. Now you've got to get your confidence going. To throw is Young, throwing on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. And right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. A give running left, it's Sanders. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. 
That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Third down at 13. Young now. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. In motion, it's Miller. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. Flushed out right. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally, because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Second and nine. 
Young. It's caught. It's Chenault again. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, that's the kind of play that was lacking all the way through the first half. Maybe this can give them a little bit of a spark because they're not out of this game by any stretch. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Young to throw it. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. to Hurst. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Troy Anderson, the man on the tackle. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now a second down throw for Young. Flush to his right. Oh, with a juke. <laughs> they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Young from the shotgun. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Shark calls it in. And he's got this down to the 35. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Young looks to throw on first down. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. more young on the slant this is Chark and all the way down inside the five to the four a good gain again that's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays and here we are in the fourth quarter partner and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown and you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there 
not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Young. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Young with it, third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's <laughs> duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Falcons offense set to go. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side, there's London. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now Ritter to throw on first down. Looking for London on the out route complete. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Second down and a run by Robinson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. On third and one, it's Ritter. And this pass broken up. 
And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want. Anytime they want to throw the football, there was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. first down and his throw is incomplete had an open man that time they end up putting a little too much heat on it don't you think partner absolutely just needed a touch more air under it instead he fired an absolute bullet Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw Young. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Defensively, mission accomplished. And now, with under three to go, they may be the last team holding the football. They may very well be the last team holding the football. Unless, of course... You're facing a group that is really aggressive offensively and may want to take a gamble, but theoretically, you've done your job now. You should get the ball back on a punt, but I'd be alert for a fake. And that's a 48-yard punt with the coverage holding him to three on the return. And it will be Falcon football. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Ready. This is first and 10. On first down, Ritter. Buying time to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. It's now second and 19 at the 28 yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They'll come up now on second down. Ritter will set up to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that could be used against them. On third down, Robinson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 
And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers about ready to take over. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Here's first and ten. Young to throw. Able to connect with Shark. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. What do you think? Play this safe? Just worry about getting to OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's going to change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. Here's second down. Here's Young. Into the hands of Sanders. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. This is where you learn a lot about rookie quarterbacks. How can they run that two-minute drill? We're about to find out. Yeah, and for them, it's not just proving it to guys like you and me watching the game and trying to beat a defense. It's proving it to their teammates that they can have the confidence in them when they line up in these situations. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Now second and four. Now Young. Let's it fly for Thielen. And this one is incomplete. Uh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Young. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. They'll come up first and ten here. They begin the drive with Robinson. Fighting him off. And he's out of bounds to stop the clock. He gets a first, but just 10 seconds remaining. Missed tackles may doom this team. I just had a bad flashback. That's why I'm sitting up here with you right now. You've got to tackle him inbounds. You've got to wrap him up. First down. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Here's Ritter. London holds this one in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Yeah. 
They come up now on second and two. Now Ritter. That's caught by Pitts. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. So the Panthers going to get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. A first down throw for Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 31, here's second and five. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Nice run from Sanders to accomplish a couple of long-awaited firsts last season in Philadelphia. Finally broke 1,000 yards and had 11 touchdowns to help reach his first Pro Bowl. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw, Young. Over the middle, he's got Chanel. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that will bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here's a second and five. Young to throw it. Sharks got it, left side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This is a big spot for a rookie QB, and overtime's kind of where you earn your stripes, isn't it? It really is, and we've talked with enough coaches and players about how these youngsters are getting into the game and playing this at such a high level so early. But overtime, that's an entirely different animal, and he's handling it well. He's starting to put together a nice drive. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now here's Young. Pressure brought in. Falcons get there for the sack. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. 
Young will set to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he brings it back to the house. It's a touchdown. And in a crazy inning, a defensive score wins it. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, to play their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.